What's going on, everybody? James here, RedoptionAgency.com, 22 years selling full-time on eBay. And today I'm going to bring you something a little different. I always try to keep an eye out for businesses and how they change over time. Well, it comes to uh, my uh, attention that Camping World is having some issues right now. Now, parent, now why I'm kind of interested in this is because Marcus Limonis, he had the TV show, and I'm always a big fan of entrepreneurs and how they run their businesses and just kind of, you know, watching from afar, if you will. I'd always love to get in with some of these entrepreneurs and really get them, you know, ask them some questions. But um, but anyway, Camping World is closing about 37 locations and or repurposing some of them um, to uh, the closure is part of a plan to shift away from locations where it's not possible to sell or service RVs. Now, not only this is going on, there's a kind of a controversy going on with an issue. I believe it's down in Tennessee also from one of their locations. But before we get to that, um, they, the, the company has also laid off nearly 1,000 workers already. Um, Camping World's net income narrowed from $351 million in 2022, down 45% from the prior year. The company's stock has slid 40% this year. Now, from the outside looking in, it always felt too big to me. And not just that, but the camping world seems to be um, decreasing. With a lot of the people who used to camp for a living, you know, that was their thing. There's a lot of them now who's backing off of that, going into homes and such. So I know that whole kind of uh, trend that was going on for uh, quite a number of years is cutting back now a little bit. So this could be part of something like that. Um, like I said, the company always seemed, it is the biggest RV company in the United States, if not the world. I'm not sure about that part, but... Like, yeah, like I said, they always seem a little bit too big anyway. But, and then also this will probably incorporate some of those Gander. Um, they're called Gander Outdoors now. They were called Gander Mountains before uh, Marcus Lemonis bought them and changed the name, which made sense for that. So I don't know if, I know I think they're all under the same umbrella. But, um, so I'm not sure if those, any of those stores are in this mix. But they had a situation down in Tennessee, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, I'll play this video and then I'll talk about some of the controversy if it's not in this video. We have breaking news for you right now. A huge fire at the Camping World on Ringgold Road at I-75 burned for hours this evening. Buildings and RVs went up in flames. Local 3's Jemiah Beatty was on the scene. Jemiah, tell us what you saw. Cindy, the building was completely engulfed in flames and RVs around the lot are destroyed. The East Ridge Fire Chief told me no one was injured. Oh, that was pretty simple. <laughs> okay. But anyway, one of the, the situations that's going on here is, let me see if this, I can pull up a building of the aftermath. There we go. So this is some of the aftermath here. I'll play this if there's no talking. But um, let me just mute it just in case some comes on. Apparently what has happened here is inside these burnt buildings with some of the customers' RVs. And they're telling the customers that they are not liable for the damage here on their RVs, that they need to contact their insurance company. I mean, personally looking at this, I'm like, uh, no, you just, you know, this is, this is on your property, on your watch. You, in my opinion, the company as a whole should be uh, taking care of this situation. Also, not just that, from what I understand, they have not even apologized for this problem of doing this, of this happening, but they've also tried to bill some of the customers for the repairs that they had done on the RVs before they burned. Get that one. Now, this is some, in my opinion, some ugly PR for uh, Camping World Company and, and Marcus Limonis personally, I think. Uh, I think a lot of people kind of held him up on a pedestal because he was a TV personality on top of it. Um, now, I don't know if all these decisions were made, you know, without his knowledge, but it is his watch. 
It is his company. He should know about it. Um, I have yet to see if he's come out with anything um, on this. This was two weeks ago, this fire. So uh, let me see. If there's anything out there, in the news, or publicly I should say, that Okay, here we go. Camping World's Marcus Limonis apologized for comments he made after the deadly Charlotteville. Okay, this is something else. Oh, well, um, well, maybe not. After the deadly Charlottesville rally. Well, on September 22, 20, three alarm fire destroyed the warehouse and damaged RVs and camper trailers at Camping World facilities in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Investigators are determined. Some customers are upset with the company following the fire. They say the company refused to pay for any damages. One customer, Alan Gibber, bought his camper, brought his camper to Camping World for repairs. He said he got a call Saturday morning that the building had burned and his camper was a total loss. Another customer said no one has apologized for what happened. Not just that, they're asking some of them to pay the bill on the work before the fire. Now, I'm not seeing nothing here yet of any damage control on this, but that's not a very good look for Camping World or Marcus Limonis. Interesting. But what does this mean for online sellers? You've got locations closing. First thing that always pops in my head, are they liquidating? Or are they moving that merchandise to other stores? Because always going to be on the lookout for buying out stores or um, getting inventory. Whoops, let me click off that. <laughs> so if you're around one of these camping worlds that are closing, look into it. Um, especially when they're closing 20% of their locations, that could mean a lot of product um, that's going to move online if they um, liquidate. So depending on if they're liquidating or just moving the product, I would probably think being they're so big, they're probably going to move the product. But hey, you never know. Sometimes they they can sell off those locations to liquidation companies just to get a quick fix of cash. And if their sales were down 45% year over year, they may need some quick cash. So it's a possibility. Um, so it's something to look into. Also, um, keep an eye out online for uh, camping stuff. This may increase online sales with less options out there to buy camping items in certain uh, parts of the country that these, this might be going on in. So anyway, uh, just was looking into this, decided to hit record and uh, talk about it. And that's all I got right now. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.